Hello, uh, I'm Toby Neumann. I'm a part of the Riverside uh, community here. I have my own studio, which you will see later. And I wanted to show you how to create a, a bass drum with the four modules. Um, actually, we have an envelope generator. It's in this case from this great company called Magnoise which uh, has a lot of functions, but I use it mainly as a very simple attack release envelope. And I have a little mixer, which is a VCA mixer, four in one, and each of the four channels can be controlled uh, by a, a voltage. Uh, I have an oscillator, which gives me the sound, and I have uh, just an audio interface, which brings the sound to you. And I have a, a LFO, which um, in this case, just gives me a clock. So, I take the clock of the LFO, um, just the pulse is fine, to put uh, it to the trigger of the envelope one. I need uh, for a bass drum two envelopes, one which triggers the VCA and one which triggers the pitch of the oscillator. You will hear why. So, I uh, put the same trigger which uh, triggers envelope one also into envelope two. Then I take the same trigger signal again to sync the oscillator because otherwise the bass drum will be never stable. So it's nice to use an oscillator with an oscillator sync function. Then I take all the four waveforms which I have from the oscillator, put them to the four inputs. You can also use just the sine wave or a triangle wave, but I will do it now like this because I then have a completely control over the shape of the sound. So I put the pulse uh, wave into the input four, the sawtooth wave into the input three, the triangle wave into the input two and the sine wave into input one. And now I can already hear when I put the output of the mixer, you hear all the four waveforms. Here. Yes. Okay, you have the sine wave, the sawtooth, the triangle and the pulse. Yes. Four waves, one oscillator. Now I take a cable and put the envelope one output to the CV input of the mixer and yes. So you hear now already the sine wave. I put the CV to all the four CV inputs of the mixer. So actually I use a mixer with four VCAs. So now the Envelope triggers the VCA and this gives out this, the waves of um, the oscillator. But now I also want to trigger the pitch of the oscillator. So I take the output of, this, uh, the, output of the second uh, envelope and put it to the pitch input. And now you hear that this pitches, this makes actually the, the kick drum sound. You can also make a tom out of it, actually. It depends on the release. The, the, the clock just comes from the LFO. You can take everything for the clock, but we I take the LFO. So now, I have the possibilities with this wonderful uh, envelope to shape the kick drum exactly in the way how I want it. So I can use, if I want to make some gabba, 
I go, I go to faster tempo and use a uh, pulse with. If I want to do a more gentle bass drum, I take a sign, a slower tempo. <laughs> And the good thing about working with the oscillator to create a kick drum, you know this often when you use an 808 or a 909, you have a problem to tune the kick, uh, this, the sound of the kick drum to the, the, the keynote of the track. And it's very important uh, that the drums are in a relation to the keynote in, as far as uh, you are using chords in your music. But I guess the most of you will do. So with here, you see here the release is now on boom. And I can pitch this, for instance, to a lower keynote, which doesn't really affect the rest of the sound of the kick drum, but just the release is exactly pitched in the right tune. And now I can, what I usually do, I add to the sine wave, also the triangle wave. Which gives it a little bit more of an aggressive feel. And then the rest of the shape of the bass drum, I really do with the second envelope which pitches the oscillator. With this, you can get almost every click as, as, as long as your envelopes are fast. You can also make it more to a tom. I can use a extra output of this wonderful module here to pitch the, the general pitch of the oscillator. I don't know how far, how deep your speakers are going, but you can tune it into every, every, every pitch you want. And with the, the, the fastness of the, now it like, sounds more like an 808 kick. Maybe push it a bit up again. What you can do also, of course, you can take the output of the, uh, of the mixer and put it to a filter and then put it to the to the mix uh, to, to to your sound card or whatever i don't have a filter inside of this box right now but uh, the filter more or less i can do with the amount of the different uh, waveforms from the oscillator so my tip is use not only one waveform use a couple of as long as you have a little mixer where you can put them together because with this and with two envelopes you are able to create actually every bass drum very important is that you sync with the same trigger, which triggers both envelopes also, because otherwise it will be not stable. Now you hear every time the oscillator starts on a different wave. And this is actually what many people don't like when they were completely analog, that um, you have too much shifting. But with this trick that you take the uh, same trigger and sync it, it's completely stable. You will always have the same kick drum, but it's not a sampled kick drum. It's not from a plug-in, it's analog kick drum, and which actually is really more nice because it sounds every time a little bit different, but still it's a very reliable signal. Huh? I have completely control over, over the way how the release is. I can even I can even make I can use the second envelope also to create a Modification of the pulse width. You see how hard, how extremely like 
perfect you can get the kick drum. If you, you, there's like, if you play around with this, there's almost every sound you can achieve. It depends, of course, also a little bit on the quality of the modules. A low pass gate, which I cannot, couldn't put into this rack now because I'm in the middle of a big session in my studio. A low pass gate, from the, from, which you can get from Make Noise, um, giving a certain kind of gentle shape to, uh, a different shape to the, to the sound than, uh, than a, a, a fast Swayman uh, VCA. But it depends on the equipment you have, you will always get a result. Those four modules, which I just showed you, we took out from here, 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 and here. No, and here. Huh? So uh, next thing after this shot, I will put them back. And here, this is my extended system where we are right now are working on a track where you can just plug cables. Melodies will be played. You put them back and Actually, this is one of the most amazing things I ever experienced in my musical life to work with uh, something like that. Uh, thanks God that I have it and um, yeah, it's highly addictive. I warn you. Um, I'm at the end of my little tutorial of making a super massive kick drum. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that uh, I soon hear some of those sounds on your new productions. Bye bye from Berlin. Take care.